and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team with you guys. And today, we're going to be going over the Madden market. We're going to be covering some stuff, some kind of last minute looks at the market, right as Team of the Year is about to drop, or right before it drops, depending on the time this video actually does go up. Now, guys, I appreciate all the support as of late. You guys have been going crazy with the like button, with the, with the views, with everything. You guys have been ultra supportive. I've been appreciating it. Even in this month of January, this sluggish month of January, post holidays. Can't wait for February to be honest. Things start picking up a little bit as far as like just life, you know? I feel like January is just a really sluggish month. It is a nice break from school, though. I'm not going to lie. Not going not gonna to debate that. Yes, I got groomed, guys. I am ready to go for my trip. The, the neck beard, the, everything's gone. Everything you guys have been asking for. Although some of you guys seem to like when I look like a, a caveman gorilla monster. But other than that, it's all good. We're ready to go. Now, guys, real quick, before we get into the video, make sure to go down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on the notification boys. Come join the family. Give this video a big thumbs up. Can we get this video to 250 likes, guys? That'd be greatly appreciated. And if you guys had any help, comment down below. Now, let's head over to the market. Let's go check things out. By the way, guys, I don't know if you can see this. I added something new to the setup. I added a fridge. That looks really cool with the whole blurred background thing. Wow. Kind of look like I look important for a second. I added a mini fridge, so now I got like I got like my Coke, my, my orange juice, my water in there, got everything in there, I'm ready to go, and my water, so you guys can't say my mouth's dry anymore. That looked really cool with the whole blur there. All right, anyways, let's get into this. So I was heading over to the auction block, check out the 88s, 89s. See where it is early in the morning. By the way, the Ravens just lost. Sucks. I really did love Lamar Jackson, but the Ravens blew it. Titans are about to go down in history for this one. Oh my god. Okay, so guys, the market must be down. Because <clears throat> as you guys can see, 88s are 29k. That is the major indicator of a market being down. They're in the 20k range. And you're usually around the 35, 36. So we can def we definitely know the market's down slightly. So let's go check up how that how it's gonna look on the upper end. Now again, it could just be the 88s are down, but usually when those are down, it means a lot of other things are down. So the 90s, let's see this. Um, should I filter by legends? Legends is hard because when you filter by legends around 90s, these are like full legends that people actually want. Yeah, 62k. These were like 70k. Again, guys, some great values here for some base legends. I don't know if you're in the market for them, but like I said to you guys yesterday, the thing with these are they're good values, but they should come down more. So unless you find like a snipe for them, I'd probably recommend you wait. I think that's probably the best bet because if you buy them now, they'll probably come down more when Team of the Year and everything drops. But then again, if you find a great snipe, you probably have a better value no matter what. So you really don't have to wait in terms of that. But that's up to you guys. The one guy I recommend here for all budget teams all the time is always Steve Young, but do what you guys got to do. Brian Dawkins. Honestly, you can make a fire legend budget team for like, I'd say like a million coins. For like a million coins, you could honestly, if you pick up a few of them like 60, 70K, you have a pretty good team for a million coins. I know it sounds like a lot, but when it comes to building an entire team of million coins really isn't that much. Now, let's go to the 1993s. This is where things start ramping up. So full legends. So Dallas Clark 109. So it looks like some of these full legends might be inching towards the 90k range pretty soon, which is gonna be crazy. I remember when these cards were like religiously like two, like 300k. Like I remember when uh, Henderson first dropped and Upshaw first dropped. These cards were like 300 something k. So if these start inching towards the 90k range, guys, like I said to you, I've been telling you guys for a while now. Once we get through Team of the Year and all these promos, it's pretty much a shoe in that this market's gonna be absolutely dead. Now it's not gonna be dead in terms of like the market doesn't work anymore but like the content's moving so fast that most of us can keep up with like coins and stuff so it's gonna pretty much look like this where it ends up being that there's gonna be all these cards that you thought like a month or two ago would have been great ads to your team are now like budget territory which is a weird state like do you buy them now are they even worth buying now like there's still some decent ads here like i remember i wanted gene upshot really bad at one point i want to dock it there's a few guys that i wanted that i never actually ended up picking up and here we are now and they're super cheap Krishna Koi still holds value though, but that's because he's like the best fullback. I, I've always wanted to pick him up, but of course, his value hasn't been killed yet. So, until his value is killed, I probably won't pick him up. 200k is still kind of a lot for a fullback. If he was like 100k, I'd, I'd probably consider picking him up, but for the time being, we're gonna have to just work with what we got. I actually got the Redux. I wonder, I really, it's sad because like a month or two ago, like we used to check out Reduxes religiously, like wow, Redux cars. Now it's like no one cares at all. They're just so overpriced still, and people just could care less. Like, Joe Thomas actually isn't a bad value. That's honestly not horrible. I never really liked the card to begin with, though. So, I don't think I'd actually recommend... I wouldn't, like, go for it, but... Not a bad value at all. Next, let's see. We got Clowny. The Mutt 10 cards are still gonna be crazy. That's what sucks, though. The Mutt 10 cards are now crazy expensive, and you can't power up anyone. Kittle's about to probably get, like, a Team of the Year card or something. We're not gonna be able to power him up because he's too expensive. 
Michael Vick, I was never able to enjoy Powered Up because he was too expensive. Randy Moss, I had to sell because I had to get um, Bo Jackson. Well, I used my Power Pass, so I had to go with Bo Jackson. This really sucks. They made it really hard this year. With, this, with these Mutt 10 cards being like the main source of Power Up, they knew. And making these would screw us later because they'd be super expensive. We'd have to go buy packs or something. Kind of ridiculous. Now, Lamar's going up a lot in price as of late, guys, and that's predominantly be predominantly because he's going to get an MVP card after NFL honors. He might have he might have lost last night, but he's gonna get the MVP card more than likely still. That doesn't that doesn't there's no correlation. Like that playoff performance won't and his playoff performance was phenomenal by the way. Despite the fact that they lost on paper, it was a great game for him still. So that's not gonna affect his MVP chances at all because I don't think playoffs are even allowed to affect your MVP chances. The voting should be pretty much done at this point. So He's still gonna win it. So when that card comes out, it's still gonna be insane. The go the legend of Lamar Jackson will live on to the last day of Man 20. Now let's go to the 94-95s. Reduxes are reduxes are kind of weak here, <clears throat> but you have to remember the next series update is going to absolutely obliterate this with a ton of reduxes. So these are gonna be like the new reduxes we can look at. But even then, it's been a while since we got some big name reduxes like this. Like like if a, a last redux were 94s, like we already have 96s and like stuff in the game. I think it's time we get an update on this. It's been a while since the last series update. All right, let's go over to. I'm gonna go check out the legends actually before I go up and overall because that's gonna be just the final pieces. <clears throat> Jesse Tuggle 200k. This card literally came out like three weeks ago. Not a bad price for him. Amon Green. Amon Green came down so much for a little bit when all those running backs were coming out. Finally came back up. Yeah, Corey Dillon was a bust. What was EA thinking giving him a 91 speed? Like Amon Green came out three weeks ago and has a better speed. And it looks like better. Like <clears throat> let's see the let's see the strength. Yeah, better trucking and better break tackle if you average them across. I don't know what they were thinking with the, like this week's legend drop was not the best at all i don't know why they would do it like that it's whatever like it's still good names but Corey dylan ninkovich and um got the other guy ready Corey dylan ninkovich okay i got it Corey dylan ninkovich and seahorn that's what i was remembering is the ltd seahorn that's why i was so confused and the CRN actually goes for 650k not a bad price i mean i wouldn't pick him up for that price but he's still gonna be one of the better cornerbacks in the game fully powered up and chemmed up let's get off the legends though so we can see everything because that's obviously only taken by him champ bailey's pretty cheap like i did tell you guys once we get to team of the year and everything drops this champ bailey probably will come down to about 380k give or take depending on the cornerbacks right if we get some fire cornerbacks champ bailey will come back down to like 380k now if we get nothing really solid it'll probably stay around the same price Especially if the quarterbacks are his overall. If the quarterbacks are the same overall as him or worse, he probably will either go, he can even go up in price. Like, truthfully, if the quarterbacks aren't that great and Champ Bailey still remains the best quarterback, he'll go up in price. People are just pre selling him a little bit because they don't think he'll be the best for that long. Terrell Owens, he's not going to be competed with by many wide receivers from Team of the Year. I already know how this usually works. At most, a Team of the Year receiver might have like a 93 speed. The only one he, the only one that would have a faster speed than him is if they give Tyree Kill Team of the Year. But if they don't, like a Michael Thomas opt, because they're not going to be fast, they're going to probably be like the same speed. If, if we're lucky, they'll be the same speed. So they're not gonna really going to blow him out of the water. So not much on that front. And Patrick Willis, he's going to come down eventually, guys. So just if you have him, I wouldn't hold on for much longer. He can't, he cannot hold close to 700k value for that much longer. Kind of ridiculous at this point. Like, I know he's amazing and all, but like, that's like a really big value to be holding. Okay, let's click out of that. Let's refresh one more time. Now, Michael Vick, again, he's going to hold value up until Lamar Jackson comes out. Because Lamar Jackson is going to be him 2.0. Like, he's going to be him, but better. So once that comes out, especially if Lamar gets dashing dead eye, Vic's done. Done. If, if he gets the dashing dead eye, this Vic is done. Obviously, we still have like a we don't have a month. We have let's see. We have we have like 18 days to we're in the danger zone. Like in 18 days, that's like at the end of the month, and that's when NFL Honors is about to drop. We're going into like the first few days of February. So we have a little time left until Lamar gets that card. I, I can see EA trying to screw Lamar Jackson and giving him his MVP card that doesn't get certain abilities or something. So like they're gonna be short of just like one attribute upgrade and they're gonna save him for like another drop later on in the year because they don't wanna give Madden. They don't wanna end Madden yet with Lamar that could literally do everything. That's probably what will end up happening, which will really suck. But we have to anticipate at this point, that's EA, that's what they do and that's how they run their, that's how they run the company. Guys, that's better for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, make sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn the notification bell, boys, come join the family. If you haven't already, comment down below, let me know what's up, see if you guys, if you guys need anything, always comment down below. And make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, can we get over 250 likes on this video, it'd be greatly appreciated guys, let's keep grinding out. The goal for 20k is looking, looks close and closer every day, hopefully by the end of the week we'll be like at 18k, and then we can keep going out, we'll have like 2k left to go, and the grind's real guys, let's keep it up, thank you guys so much for watching, I'm out, see you in the next video, peace.